lived in Arizona and Tucson now for about a year and a half and I'm always discovering new things that I love about the city and the surrounding area. I'm just so inspired by the plants that thrive here too and how resilient and beautiful and vibrant they can be despite their tough living conditions sometimes. I'm always trying to find ways to bring the outdoors in or surround myself with nature. So with the pottery that I do, I'm also using nature and landscape and plants as a source of inspiration. Whether it's a nature or a mountain landscape that I'm engraving onto one of my mugs, or I'm using mesquite beans that have fallen off the tree in the backyard and pressing them and using them as a stamp to add some creative touch to my pottery. I'm constantly looking for new bits of inspiration and, and what we have so close to us and around us as a way to express my art and the way that I see the world. Tonight I'm going to be making some soap dishes, which is a lovely little pair between the soap and the pottery world that seems to where the two worlds collide for me. I'm going to take some mesquite beans and then use them as stamps and kind of create a bit of a sun flare or a burst. So it's really nice that clay is such a beautiful medium that it really um, absorbs whatever, whether it's a fingertip or a tool, it takes on the shape. The contours of the mesquite bean really come through nicely on the pottery. So it's like taking something natural, blending it with the earth, and creating art. With pottery, I'm always intending to make pieces that people can love. I love to make mugs for that reason. There's something kind of warm and comforting about wrapping your hands around a mug. I also love to make plates and bowls. Dreaming of these pieces, like living their lives in someone's home and hoping that they help to nourish them. I've been lucky enough to be connected with the Tucson Botanical Collective. It's a group of seven other makers and artists here from Tucson and we've come together to collaborate and each share a bit of our own artwork and we offer seasonal subscription boxes that highlight the plants and flowers and botanicals that are alive and thriving and well in Tucson. One of the biggest passions in my life is teaching and before I moved to Tucson in Vancouver I was a high school teacher and a school counselor there and a real priority for me was to try and take kids out into nature as often as possible for them to be around plants and landscapes and nature and to just take that moment to be present and, and feel the power of how healing nature can be too. I've talked about how plants inspire my work and my soap and my pottery but they also inspire me in my life as well. Plants can be great teachers for us too you know, just being outside and spending time amongst trees. They just teach me to be a little bit quieter sometimes and to slow down. Part of why I'm offering workshops is because I really think that that teaching aspect is such a huge part of our lives. And I think that these little insights that we learn from nature, these little secrets that we have, they're not meant to be kept to ourselves. I think that they're meant to be passed on and shared with others.